Did I just... I think I just beat him! Oh. We beat chapter one, everybody. Way too quickly. Oh, really quickly. Oh, shit. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but Hey, it's a pretty one. He looks a little bit like All Charlie right. Kirk, but like with a normal sized Next face. Pack. Feeling even better about this it. Is, this is light world Charlie Kirk. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, in the dark world. they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay, let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bandog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs Band to dog. go. Bandog. Next pack, here we come. I'll just cut out this part. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today oh. I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got. Oh. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a Foil Mantis God goes for a couple hundred bucks, so... Fingers I want a Foil Mantis God. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is... Blue Mage! Cool looking card. Blue mage. Not going to be worth very much. We fucking mean blue mage. All right. Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened. You're in. You're in good and luck, Dark Guna. Resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. Come on, people. Honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> Somebody's got it, right? 49 North, 123 West. Let's see what he has. Hey he there, has. card game. Here we go. Let's watch the next one. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp. And yeah, shovel. I don't know. Now, here's something I don't know. Something I don't know for sure. I do not know if those coordinates were a part of the ARG. Certain aspects of the ARG have already been solved. 
I know that, um, I know that the first people that solved part of it got a physical, got a physical card game of inscription. But they, they're all out now. So people who solve it now, you don't get the physical card game. But, um, yeah, there's an art, there's still, it's still ongoing. They haven't solved the ending of it. So, um, hold on, let me tell you what I know so far. So what I know about the ARG of this, um... Uh, the, what I know about the ARG of this is that there are, the, we're waiting on a phase. So basically what happened was, uh, there was a, there's a whole bunch of secrets in the game. One of them, uh, will lead you on a whole path that will ultimately lead you to a, a secret URL. And pe the first like a hundred or something people that went to the, um, uh, the first like 100 or so people who went to the, um, the website and figured everything out got got to order a physical copy of the card game they just they like they just had to put in their information and apparently the next step is going to be when the physical cards go out there is going to be something um like people well nobody knows exactly what but people assume that there's going to be messages on the cards and the people who got the packs are going to have to work together um but yeah that's that's what i know about the arg so far but anyway, let's keep watching. Always come prepared, kids. All right. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You got to come prepared. <sighs> okay. Alright, this is it. And now, we dig. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. There's gold in them cards! Is that... Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Wow, great. Wow, great segment. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Hey, 
I know that game. Hey, I know that game. We watched them all. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. Please do not be foolish. There's no film in there. I will need that. You, Challenger, are a champion. And I wish to commemorate your victory. Please inscribe your name. Demon Mama, I'm doing it. Shh, do not despair. You are a winner. over yet. The last challenger managed to defeat me. A rare event. Go and ask how they did it. You will find them hanging from the door over there. A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. Hey, look, stink bug! But it is dealt, so it stands. Look at that! What the hell? That's so fucking sick! And I'm missing an eye! And a tooth! <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, yeah, this I guess is, I, I guess this is what happens if you beat him before you, you proceed in the story. Because we beat him before, we, we were, we don't, we didn't have all the stuff necessary to advance the story. I don't know if this is public. I have no idea what this is. I've literally, I literally have no idea. I have ne I didn't expect myself, I didn't expect to win, uh, that early. I have no idea. Maybe there's a maybe there's like a website or something. I have no fucking clue. That's fucking sick. That's like the sickest shit. Oh, chat's having some minor issues it looks like. Damn, that's fucking sick. I don't think I'm the first. I can't imagine I'm the first. I know there's still more puzzles to solve. That's how much I know. Can we do the clock now? I don't know. I think we I think we can do the clock. Wait, yeah, we can do the clock. That's right. We have the we have the 11 o'clock. Let's I think there's a secret we can get here too. Yeah! I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Now we have the upgraded smoke. This is like the sickest shit I've ever seen. I'm so fucking proud of this. Can I get a screen? How do I Wait, why can't I hear? 
There we go. I'm gonna print screen that shit. Because honestly, I deserve that. Holy fuck, that's so sick. Still wondering what the framed cards are? I think this is a puzzle. I think we need to replicate this board in order to unlock this. Okay, we gotta do 11 o'clock here. So, wait, we want the small hand to be the 11. Want the medium hand there, and this one here. Cuckoo! <gasps> Does it fit? Hey, we got the ring! See, that's how you- that's the normal way that you get it. Normally, you have to die- you have to die at the end, and that's how you normally get the ring. Will there be a VOD? Absolutely, Voss Studios. There will absolutely be one. But I think there might be another area of this clock we can open. So, we better get back to the game. So, we started with a knife, a hook, and a squirrel. That's a pretty strong start. Let's proceed. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Okay, so we can choose bugs, we can choose birds, or we can choose wolves. Hmm. Birds? Bugs, birds, wolves. Birds? You want to do birds? We haven't done a bird build. Let's do a bird build. The Adept Kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Yo, thank you so much, Kaboka. That's really nice. That's a... I don't like this card personally, but we can do... We can make it work. We can make it work. Gaming, glow up, good vibes? True. Oh, sick. Wait, we get to meet a new character. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Ooh. I like this. We're doing this. This is about to get busted. Ho oh ho! The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The worthy sacrifice sigil will now be marked upon all of your squirrel creatures. Triple squirrels. Okay. <laughs> so as long as we don't get card cucked. Notice that they gave us an elite fight early. Okay, so, so they're punishing us for winning so hard last time. Now, we might get cucked, however, we might get cucked, however, that is a very good start. So let's see how it goes. If we die right now, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> Me again. Hey, why are you, what are you look? you're looking funny, dude. Why does this guy look so goofy? Yeah, he's looking a little weird. Also, our stink bug's looking a little weird too. What the fuck is with that? Okay, so we have a flying wolf cub there. Let's get the wolf right out, huh? Isn't this game fucking great? I, I fucking love this game. You sure? Can a poor old OP card get some likes? True, throw some likes on the video. If you're here and you haven't liked it, please like the video, please for the love of God, please. Yeah, we're gonna win this one. Yeah, we got this guy. Bada bam. This is an easy one though. 275 likes, that's pretty fucking good, I gotta say. Okay, so, oh, All right, so this is gonna get a little tricky. We can choose lizards. We can choose bugs, or we can choose wolves. You wanna do bugs? All right, let's do bugs. The inevitable maggot. They will lurch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. This is, the, this is such a sick card. So when this card dies, it summons a card from your hand, which means you can use this card to get gigantic cards out. This is how people usually get the, uh, the Yeti out. Sick ass card.
Oh, we got the wood carver again? Okay, that's interesting. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Um, honestly, I don't want, I don't want any of those. Maybe this could be good later. I guess we'll take the bug head for later. Uri, Uri Yuli? Uri Yuli? Yeah. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Simple enough. We re we, we got the, the uh, we got it twice in a row, which is a little weird. Yeah, I think we need, I think we'd need a better one, yeah. Although we could use free B cards. I don't know, we'll have to take a look at it. Great draw. Okay, so we can put a squirrel down right away. I think we put the, this one out and then we'll use the squirrel and get this one out. There we go, let's get those out. Corpse maggots. Can't use it yet. Oh, thank you so much. Let me tight. Corpses are in no short supply. Oh, we can't do that. can't use that we could get rid of I guess we could just do this this would be a swifter way to victory that was not a bad play bad play bad play bad play shut the fuck up weasel I'll fucking kick your ass fuck you weasel you piece of shit fuck's your problem I concede no you do not no you fucking don't bitch no you fucking don't bitch we're doing full damage fuck you ba boom Oh, we didn't get any extra anyway. <laughs> Me red pilling all my friends on the F slur. <laughs> bad play, bad play. I'll be clear with you. The trappin' business been lagging. After being defeated by that challenger. Well, I'm thinking of clearing me inventory, trying something else. Pelts are cheaper now. Yeah, there's a ton of continuity. Somniostatic, it gets, I'm telling you, this game is fucking wild. You'll understand, when we beat this game, so when we beat this game, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some really fucking cool shit. It gets, this game gets so much wilder, you don't even fucking know. We got a golden pelt though, which is sick. Can we get two golden pelts? We can get, we got two golden pelts and a rabbit pelt. Okay, that's fucking sick. Fucking greedy, greedy little, greedy little goat. Greedy goat, greedy goat, greedy goat, greedy goat, greedy goat, greedy goat, greedy goat. Okay, honestly, our best thing here would be to buff this card. This is our cheapest card that would do the most with health. So we'll do this one. Who's the goat? Fawn. Fawn's name, yeah, and who's this emote? That's Fawn. That's Fawn. Both are Fawn. Fawn is a goat. The health of the stink bug was enhanced. All right, we got away. Buff squirrel, buff squirrel. Great draw, thank you. Okay, so we can get the stoat out immediately. No, no, fawn, well, fawn is, fawn is a fawn like F-A-U-N, you know, like, um, hold on, let me show you. Well, I can't, cause they're all not safe for work. You know, you know, like a satyr, you know, like those kind of creatures, you know, like a, like pan. 
So, yeah. When are we getting a VTuber arc? Because your persona would be perfect for it. Yeah, that's true. My persona would be perfect for that. But honestly, I don't know. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Yeah. We'll see. We'll have to see about that. I don't know if I want to be a VTuber. I kind of like showing my face, you know? So let's see here. Wolf. Okay, so this kind of sucks. We're gonna- wait, we don't want to use the, the hook too early. Um, we're gonna take a lot of damage if we don't do something, though. Can we survive another turn? One, two, three. Yeah, we can. Okay, we can survive another turn. We don't need to worry so much. Okay. Okay. Wait, that's really bad. Oh, wait, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, HP, th this whole game is just so fucking sick. I love it so much. So wait, if we do this, no wait, we have to kill this. We have to kill this one. Oh fuck, I should have played my other card. Okay, so you can, oh, that was really fucking close. Yes, I think you've got me this time. Oh, what, he's conceding again? What the hell? Dude, come on, don't give up. Don't fucking give up, dude. Don't give up, we got you. I got you. Golden pelt, golden pelt, golden pelt. See, if we do it this way, now we're gonna get a whole bunch of points. Watch this. Now we're gonna get a whole bunch of extra teeth. Bada bada bing. See, it's worth it. The game's streamlining. Yeah, yeah, I think it's streamlining because, um, of the amazing win. That could be, it could be. But th to be honest though, we've had two elite fights already. So I don't know how that's the case. Maybe. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Pronghorn, the sadistic pronghorn. Woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. This card, so strong. The apotheosized, the apotheosized goat, the truest offering. Sacrificing it grants three blood. We gotta take the pronghorn. We have to take it. Yeah. Look, it's, look, wait a minute. I'm being haunted right now. I'm being haunted by fucking forest critters and barnyard critters. I'm being haunted by fawn, the black goat, and I'm being haunted by an increasingly dangerous doe. It is the nega doe, though, because doe is not a sadist. And then CTV, yeah. Well, you know. Like, I don't want this. Alright, so wait, we gotta figure this out. Hold on, we gotta figure this out. I think we should buff the pronghorn. I, I want to buff the pronghorn, but with what? This would be so op. Oh my god, we should. I think I want to do this. So if we do this, this pronghorn is going to have four sigils. Yeah, I'm the inscription streamer. I mean, to be honest, this has been one of the most fun I've had on stream in a long time. Actually, can I take a second here? Let's take a second. Can I take a minute? You know what? Let me tell you something. It's time for a little behind the scenes moment. Uh, I've been pretty bummed out by uh, the last couple of months of, of endless drama. It's been really, really, really a giant bummer. Um, and so uh, one of my, one, one of the people, actually two of the people in my life who are very important to me told me that I am being an idiot and overworking myself. That, they didn't say it like that, but that's more or less what they said. And so I said, I promised that I would do, I would do an inscription playthrough on stream because I, th I thought that all the imps were gonna really like that and that I would have fun. 
And so far, not only has it been really fun, it's been more fun even than I thought. So, you know, I gotta say, I appreciate it a lot. I really appreciate the love because this has been fucking great so far. Anyway, let's continue. I just wanted to let you guys know, thank you. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. I really needed this. Okay, we now have the most overpowered pronghorn in the entire universe. We're good. Let's continue. All right, we got to fight the prospector. Yeehaw! That smoke, it is great indeed. Look at this. We got a turbo smoke. Look at that. What a fucking sick-ass card. So now we have the upgraded one. Yeah, hey, give me that greater uh, smoke. I'm so sick of this boss. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Did he just talk to me? I'm so sick of this boss, excuse me? What the fuck? <laughs> just pop that mule. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. So we want to get this thing, we want the greater smoke to fucking tank that shit right there, okay? Next, we're gonna get our squirrel out, and we're gonna put the stoat out. Stoat, I'm ready to fight. He's gonna tell me it's a bad play. Watch this fucker. Bad play. Told you! If fucker told me it's a bad play, fuck you. Fuck you, stoat. Fuck you, stoat. Sorry. I'm sorry. I lost myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, everybody, now we have to pay attention, okay? Listen, pay the fuck attention. I can't put, I want as few cards as possible out at the end of this match, remember that. Because at the end of this match, he'll turn them into golden rocks, and we don't want golden rocks. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ink Frog. Do you think I'm like, oh God. You, you all have no faith in me, you know that? None, not a single bit of faith. Wait, I need to turn the in-game music down just a tiny bit. I want, I want, okay. Hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta, we gotta get here, okay? Let's fucking win this. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm, I'm having a focus moment now. They're golden, them cards! Yeah, we're gonna get there, okay. Let's draw a card. Great draw. Thanks, dude. Let's get you out. Okay, so that's not gonna matter that much. We can do this right now. Yep. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got a plan. Golden pelt. Good idea. I don't know. Does he react to a golden pelt? Let's find out. I don't know if he reacts to a golden pelt. Let's try it. I know there is somebody who will react to a golden pelt. I don't know if it's the prospector. It wouldn't make sense for it to be the prospector, but... Nothing. Damn. Sucks. It's too bad. Okay. No, we need to use this. We're gonna use the hook to steal the wolf. Okay. So watch this. Yes. Bless. Bless. Oh, beautiful. My mule and her pack. I feel like that voice, that the prospector voice is like, I mean, okay, he's kind of an offensive character, right? Like, like this guy is like, like what the hell, right? He's a little offensive. So maybe it's okay that I do the offensive voice. I'm just, I'm, I'm carrying forward the character from the game. There's golden them cards! Yeehaw! We heard it here. There we go. Let's how offensive can I get? He's mildly offensive. Gold, gold, gold! I struck gold. God, this is horrible. Yeah, I'm I I'm actually starting to I'm actually starting to fear that I might be might genuinely offend somebody with this. I don't know, Texans or something? <laughs> Gold, yeah. Hey, you don't know? You don't know that there isn't a prospector watching the stream right now? How do you know that one of my viewers out in the out in the audience right now is not literally panning for gold right now as we speak? I am so sorry. I am listen, I just wanna say I issue a genuine apology to any 
49ers, what's 49ers? That's what it is. Any 49ers and or uh, people whose name is Prospector Pete or Prospector Phillips, any of you out there in my audience, I genuinely apologize. I'm very sorry. Mama indeed bad. Anyway, yeehaw, let's get back to it. What? What? Okay, so here's what we gotta do. Watch this. I got I got a sick play for you all. Okay, ready? We're gonna carve my eye out strategically to win this so I can show you guys a really cool thing. Because I wanna show you this before the stream goes too late. Oh yeah, I have to draw one. Uh, fine. Give me this. Here we go. Watch this shit. So first, squirrel goes down. Second, what do we wanna do? Beaver? What does beaver do? Dam builder? Fuck that shit. That's shit. Let's get the wolf out. Let's get the fucking wolf out. I should do a Red Dead Redemption 2 stream? That's not a bad idea, actually. Did you know I've never played Red Dead Redemption 2? Even though I've heard it's fucking great, even from, like, like, I've heard so much good shit about it and I've never played it. I've seen so many people play it. Okay, watch, here's what we're gonna do. Eyeballs go out. Everybody brace yourself, it's nasty. Here it goes, ugh, ugh, gross, ah, ugh, go ah, yucky, ugh, ugh. Grody eyeball. But we won. Now that it's been smoothed out. Okay, watch this shit. I'm gonna show you guys something super cool. Hey, purple EB Chan, EB Chan, you still watching? EB, EB the purple, you still watching? Watch this shit. This is where it's gonna get sick. I think so, I hope at least. I have to pick a card first, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. Wait a minute. We're taking the Uriuli this time. We're taking the Uriuli. Oh, they're not here anymore? Okay, it's okay. Maybe they'll catch on the VOD. I imagine you'd like to replace the eye you lost. Watch this. What? Oh, it's not in here. Wait, why? We're at the right point in progression. Okay, guys. Uh, apparently... Uh, uh apparently... I have so fucked up the progression while playing this with you all. I don't even know what's happening anymore. There's supposed to be a magic eyeball in here, but the magic eyeball just isn't there. We are definitely at the point where I can get the magic eyeball, which normally helps you progress, but I've busted the game and it's Grime Dango's fault. So we're in, un we're in, we're in a fresh playthrough now because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing anymore. Let's go. Let's do it. We're going to have to rely on my card building skills. We're taking the goat eye for good luck. Here we fucking go. Always go Always go the choice is final. Free of the prospector's unhinged gaze, you looked ahead. We will need another map. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. I think you need the painting sequence. Oh, okay, also try to get a black goat. Okay, all right, sick. Also, this is something that I want you all to take note of. While we're playing through this game right now, notice how... We've done three playthroughs and there is different narrative. Uh, there is different narration for the same segments that you go through each time. There's different intro and outro narration. Notice that. It, it's important. You'll see as time goes on. But just notice how much variation there is when we're going through these different environments. When we're playing against the crazy man with the mushrooms. Okay? Pay attention. This is important. Let's go. Let's continue. The Venerable Alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. Well, we gotta get the Alpha, right? We gotta take the Alpha. It's gotta be the Alpha. You can't just leave an Alpha on the table. It, look at all the wolves! Look, it's got one, two, three, three other wolves with it. Alpha's sick. Well, here's the thing. This is what's really cool about the alpha. Notice, notice that the alpha can buff any creature. What that says, what that implies, is that the alpha is not just a wolf alpha. 
The Alpha is a leader. He can lead bugs. He can lead birds. He can lead lizards. We gotta take the Alpha. We're taking the Alpha. It doesn't just buff wolves. It buffs anything. The Alpha is a real leader. That's what makes him the Alpha. In this case. So what do we want? We already have good squirrels, so we don't need to go to the carver. We want a backpack. We want to refill our items. So let's do it. Definitely take the knife again. Definitely take the... the... Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, no. You can't use that. <sighs> He's got, like, fat chunks in his head. Ew! Or is that teeth, maybe? I'm taking this one. Buddy in a bottle? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's a buddy. I can't quite tell. We'll have to find out. Fuck it, we're doing the elite fight. Let's do the elite fight. Let's challenge ourselves, shall we, for a nice reward? Let's fucking do it. All right, want to use Buddy in a Bottle? Want to see what Buddy in a Bottle does? I hope we don't have to drink it. I don't know. Maybe. So here's what's Pog. Watch this. Want to see a sick play? Watch this. Wait. Yes. We go like this. Then we fucking play the, pr the flying pronghorn right here. And then we go, let's use our boy. I'm serious. You cannot use that. Okay. Sick. There is no possible use for that. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice? Avoid it. Yeah, he really doesn't want me to use it. He's an anti-goo? That probably means it's good? Well, I don't know. Let's think about that. Okay, so what do we know about... What do we know about this guy so far? Can we take a second here? What do we know about this guy so far? So we're definitely gonna go use it? All right. He's anti-green cum jar. It's on a shelf. Maybe you can use it in the cabin. That could be. This guy's a shrigma. He is a bit shrigma -y, isn't he? He loves masks. We know that. He kills you. He, he apparently kills you if you lose. He wants you to torture yourself. That seems pretty bad. Excuse me, I'll have you know, there are some well-intentioned torturers in the world, okay? I know a few. The camera is empty. That's, wow, per, EB, that's a really good point. The camera was empty when we got it. His eyes are magical Satan eyes. The goop is his friend. Chug it. He wants you to torture yourself. Hmm. What happens when you use up the eyes? Well, there's not a limited amount of eyes, but there are different eyes each time you play through. He took a picture of the moon. That's true, he did take a picture of the moon to turn it into a big card. <clears throat> I do too, Silax. Isn't that weird? Man, who would, who on earth would like that? Why is he saying something now? Hmm. Well, these are all very good things. I'm glad we paused. I'm glad we paused for a minute. Because I want you guys to be thinking about this type of stuff. Something you should understand about this game is it's very narrative heavy. So if you put some thought into it, you'll have a good time. It seems sinister. He does seem a little sinister. I will give you that. Um, I would definitely say that, like, this guy seems... He does seem sinister. He called my deck pitiful? He did, yeah. Use the ring to marry him? Ooh, good idea. He doesn't play by the rules. But hey, to be fair... Neither did we. We cheated. A lot. Like, he didn't play by the rules, but neither did we. Like, we, like... We, we used the scissors. We stole stuff from the room. Wait, we took stuff from the room. At, like, multiple times. Somehow marrying him doesn't seem like the right answer. Hmm. You know the rules, and so do I. Yeah, exactly. He wants me to use it. 
We insta killed the Moonlight Goku. <laughs> That's true. He gave us them to use. He didn't give us all of them. Remember, we broke into his safe and stole a card out. We also we also broke his the wolf out of the cage, which we don't know why he put the wolf in the cage. Am I the real final boss of this game? I'm the real final boss of life. Rule number one, motherfuckers. All right, let's continue. Let's play. Come on, let's play. Enough, enough theory crafting. Let's play. I really, okay, my goal, I want us to win this run really bad because I really want to show you guys chapter two of this game. You have no idea how off the rails. <laughs> Rule number one, mama is always approaching. Run. <laughs> Wait. That's <laughs> really fucking... Okay, so we need to do what? We can't draw. No, we've already drawn. Okay, here we go. Holy shit, this is going to be a lot of damage. We might have to use the knife here very soon. It's definitely the same vibe I would have when the, the moon was about to turn me into a smear. I'm about to die, but honestly, I can't do anything. What the actual fuck? Huh. No, uh, Psychopax, interestingly, we had a strange thing happen. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. In a second. We have to, I have to do this first. Uriuli. Okay. We can make him skip his turn, which would probably be very valuable here. I think we're going to make him skip his turn. So he'll pass his next turn, which will give us time to put out a card. A squirrel. We could also have used the dagger here. My birthday is tomorrow, which is technically in two and a half hours. Happy birthday, Miss Nibiru. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I hope you've been having fun. So, wait a minute here. Hmm. What's the right path? I guess we put the squirrel out for sure. We don't have enough for the alpha. Which means we, we could put the Uriuli out, but we'd have to sacrifice everything. And where would we put it? Nowhere. So that means what we really need to do is we need to do the dagger. We'll dagger. And then we'll get the flying attack and that should win it for us. Yeah, that should do it. If I calculated correctly, we win. Yes, we won. Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. See, this is this game is fucking challenging. Would you care for a new eye? I don't think we can get the magic eye yet. Nope. Fuck. Okay. All right, well, it's normal eye for now. Well, see, that's the interesting thing, right? Like, we have to gouge our eye out, but we do get another one. I don't know, I find this, I find this mystery a bit, like, quite interesting, right? This game does mystery very well. All right. We want a three because we have squirrels that are good sacrifices. So we definitely want a three here. Holy shit. The tyrannical great white, the master of the deep. Holy shit, that's fucking sick. What a sick card. Yeah, we want high blood because we have, um, we have valuable squirrels. Ah, a character we haven't seen yet. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. And we are performing our experience far from, from, experiments, sorry. We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We will, we will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. All right. 
<laughs> wait, what? The only the only dupes we have are. Sh uh, wait. I literally have no idea what this does. I have no fucking clue. I I think this could get messy. Look away. The golden pelt six. The, the golden pelt. It is now one. It's a good voice for the mycologist, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want me to do the meatball voice? Who am I gonna do the meatball voice for? You want me to do meatball voice? All right, all right, I'll do meatball. All right, next character. Wait, who's the next character? Nah, I'll just do meatball now. All right, I'm gonna narrate this match as meatball. This is for you. Happy birthday, Miss Nibiru. All right, here we go. I got the squirrel. I gotta put a squizzle around. All right, all right. I'm gonna sacrifice the squizzle. We're gonna. What? Wait, wait, hold on. There's a problem though. There's a problem because how am I gonna read these characters? All right, keep me alive. All right, keep me alive then. Meatball. Oh, this is really bad, though. Oh, no, this is real bad. Meatball's gonna die. Meatball's really gonna die. All right, that's all I can do for Meatball tonight. Was that enough Meatball? It's really hard to narrate this game as Meatball. I'm not gonna lie. Fucking impossible. Oh, fuck! And now I fat-fingered! Dude, Meatball trying his best to do the voices, but Meatball isn't good at voices, so it just sounds like Meatball. Oh, that's really hard to do. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna lose a life here. Because I got distracted doing a Meatball. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked. Yep, we're done. Shit. It's okay, we still have one extra life. It's okay. Why does- everybody loves the Meatball voice so much. Oh my fucking god, I love that for us. All right, it's okay. We still have another chance. It's okay, don't cry yet, everybody. I'm not crying, I'm not feeling really sad at the moment. Okay, I gotta do this guy's voice now. Hold on, I gotta do this guy's voice. The trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. The trial of kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. We gotta do blood. Blood's the answer. What is the sound of life? Let the trial of blood begin. <laughs> We failed. One from the bulldog, zero from the alpha, one from the stoat. Failure! Failure! The creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. It's all right, we did our best. We'll try again. We might get another opportunity later. We get to sacrifice, though. This could be good. Hmm. Honestly, us having a low-cost card would be really good here. So we should buff this one. With what, though? Oh, with the alpha. Holy shit. We would made it. We could. We could make an alpha. <laughs> Bullfrog? Is that? Hmm. No, I think we should do this one, and I think we should sacrifice in the alpha. No way. Sacrifice corpse maggot, you think? He's never getting used. That's true. Actually, actually, you're right. That's a fucking good idea. Yeah, it's really fucking annoying. Um, it happened to us earlier this year. I hope it's not starting again because the last time cost me a lot of money. 
cost them more, but I mean, they probably have more money, so. Yeah, that was a sick ass call. Yeah, the corpse maggot call, fucking sick, sick call. Absolutely sick call. Yeah. <laughs> nice top deck. <laughs> nice top deck. What a fucking prick. Why is the stoat such an asshole? It could be a white leaf issue. What a dick. Wait, we can put a, white, a great white down right away. Look at that, we got a great, great white immediately. Ooh, four damage. The stoat is that guy at the card shop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, Grime Dango, just wait. Please keep watching this playthrough and you will understand how accurate you are. You will understand in time. Wow, the Great White is fucking op. We just wrecked. Oh, we can finally turn in the fucking pelts. Ever since that defeat, well, you don't want to hear it. Cheaper prices, enjoy. <laughs> On the house. Wait, he's just giving us. I feel, I just feel like he's an asshole, but he knows something important. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I, he seems, he's so mean to me. He always makes fun of my plays. That doesn't make me happy. I feel like that's really mean. We have so many pelts. You have me gratitude. I feel like I, I think I've changed the voice of that guy throughout. I don't think I've been very consistent with my trapper person. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. I beat his ass so bad he's giving up on life, yeah. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Um. Deer? I guess we can take the elk head. I don't know. None of these are good. We want the squirrels still. The squirrels are so good. I mean, I love deer, but we don't have a use for deer right now. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Yeah, it's it's yeah, that's a really good point, Psychopax. Yes, they're basically it's basically a tune deck. Yeah. Uh, if you use the great white shark and other uh, diving creatures or whatever it's called. Submerging. <laughs> the stoat sounds like he wants to sell me some NFTs. <laughs> hey, listen up. I got a bunch of monkeys I can sell you. How do you like the sound of that? I got, a, I got a million monkeys. It'll only cost you a couple thousand dollars. My newest animation, it's a, it's a masterpiece. Fresh fish. Easy choose. Let's see if we can beat him. This is the worst boss. I find this guy pretty hard. So how are we gonna do this? He's gonna hook whatever the fuck we put down. So we just want him to take a squirrel for now. Or is he not in that phase? Okay, he's not hooking it. That's good. Fuck the stoat. Ah, oh, look at that. People not people. Other people are agreeing with me that the, the, the stoat is sus. I don't know why, but the angler seems like he would be some form of bigoted if I met him as a real person. Hmm. I can see. I can see where you're coming from with that. I actually think the angler's not. Hmm. Fresh shoes. All right, that's easy. Wait, 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 bon, bon, bondrud, 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 bondrud. Uh, I like, I like stoats and ermine, and erm stoats, ermines, I mustelids, all those creatures, I really like them. This stoat is just an asshole. And to be fair, IRL stoats are pretty mean creatures. I still think they're really cute and good. Just saying. 
Also, I have multiple friends who identify very strongly with stoves, okay? Okay. Mine now, low fish. Okay, so now we gotta figure out what we gotta do here. We need a squirrel, obviously. This is a weird fight. I think we're gonna win this, but... I supposed to do here? Uh, I guess we go like this. Hmm. Wait, you thought, wait, LB, this whole time you thought the stoat was a person in chat? No! All stale, hard choose. Okay. I got this. I got this. Watch this shit. Here we go. Wait. No, that's fine, actually. That's perfectly fine. He can take that one. Ow. Okay, so now he's got two squirrels. Take fish. Go fish. Oh my god, another fucking pelt. This is ins this is so bad. This is so bad. I think we will I think we'll win out, but it's going slow. Oh my god. This is the- this is so close. Oh! I don't like this even a little bit. This is so not- Oh, the golden fucking pelt! No! What am I supposed to do? With the golden fucking pelt! What if we've- we've killed ourselves with the pelts, haven't we? We've basically fucked ourselves with the pelts, right? No, wait, wait, wait. This turn, we might be able to do it. Wait, the bullfrog, the bullfrog will block. Yes! Wait, we're gonna be able to win this. This is the smallest crawl, like the cr most crawling victory you can possibly imagine. I don't know how the fuck we pulled this off. The angler, mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. Okay, that will protect your best cards. Okay, cool, thank you. Thank you. We got you. Appreciate that. So this is gonna hook the bullfrog. Oh. Oh. That's not good. How'd that work out? How'd that work out? Hey, we got him! Die already. Uh, okay. Sick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a flying card. We just win. We just win. We just win. Because we won't detonate any of the sharks. We just win. The flying pronghorn wins. Holy fucking shit. We pulled this fucking crazy match off. This has been like the most, look at our whole hand is pelts. Okay, the fact that we're gonna survive with this means we're gonna have the most op thing fucking de deck in the world. Because when we get to the trap, when we get to the trader, we're gonna be able to use like four golden pelts. Pel pelts let you trade for like really good cards at the trader. Perhaps one of these will entice you. That was absurd. The stalwart mole man.
the ultimate defense. Okay. The Long Elk and Gek. But Gek. But Gek. We know how busted Gek is. Long Elk? We got some Long Elks? Long Elk. Long Elk? Four bones. We've been struggling with bones. Gek part two. The thing is, our deck will be a lot better. Yeah, I think the Gek is the right call. We've been struggling with bones. I don't think we can do long elk. Yeah, let's do Gek. Gek's zero cost is very, very valuable for us. Because we have a lot of expensive cards, so having a zero cost card is really good. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. A moment. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. Alright. I think being able to choose a specific card here is going to be incredibly valuable. After you sell the pelts, you can sacrifice to make Gek God tier. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a really good idea. We could make Gek insane. Skunk, Turkey Vulture, Elk Fawn. Elk Fawn. We're definitely taking the Elk Fawn. That's a good one. Okay, we don't have any items. Wait, the sacrifice though. Oh, fuck. Okay, we don't have any items though. Is there another? There's another sacrifice over here. So if we go like this... Then we should... This is the path to go. We need to do this and then go there. Okay, so we're going to grab this. We need items. We can't go into the final boss without items. We need the knife. Black goat is really good. Black goat's really good here. And then, of course, we'll take the two. That means we can do a full five damage. You can insta-win with that. That's pretty good. Yeah, elk fawn, elk fawn. Okay. So we gotta win this fight. Let's see what we're going up against. We got mole and a turkey vulture. Wow, it just starts with a turkey vulture. Okay. Oh no. This is so bad. This is such a bad start. We haven't been able to we haven't been able to offload our pelts. I mean, we could just skip this guy. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just doing it. We're not we're not risking it. I'm not fucking risking it. We're just gonna kill him. Can't skip it. Doesn't let you skip it. I imagine you'd like to replace that eye you lost. Oh yeah, we keep forgetting to get up. Choice is final. Okay. Is there no trapper here? Where is the- Is there no trapper? Are we just not gonna get the trapper? That sucks so much. The regal moose. The creatures of the wild make way for it. Oh my god, Grime Dango! Grime Dango returns. Easy choice. Always the Grime Dango. And guess what? We can buff the Grime Dango right now if we want to. That might be our only hope. The Grime Dango buff might be our only hope. Oh my god. We could make it so... Wait a second. We could make it so Grime Dango grows up into something else. What the fuck? We're doing it. We're doing it. What the fuck does a grown-up Grime Dango do? Now we have a baby Grime Dango! <laughs> what the fuck? Baby Grime, baby Grime Dango grows up into big one. Vass- Vass NYT- Vassy Night- Vassinit Studios. Hey, love the stream. Gonna head to bed. I have work tomorrow and been ages since I've had a full eight hours of sleep. Go rest. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the donation. Really, really appreciate that. Okay, so I don't know what this does, actually, to be completely honest with you. I don't know what's gonna happen. 
Interesting. It turns into Grim, da Grim Dango. <laughs> yeah. Insect egg into Great Moth. Yeah, exactly. So wait, what do I do now? Okay, so I guess we just have to go like this and then they'll, we'll do tape two damage and we'll take three. It doesn't seem good. Oh, this is really rough. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Wait a minute. How do I do this? We need to get the Uriuli Ur out, don't we? This is rough. But that's not gonna help. So then what do I do here? Well, this is, I have like one choice, which is I have to go like this and then I need to go. And then play this here. So it kills this. Yeah, it has to go here. I got the goat, but the goat isn't enough. And the goat isn't free. It still takes one. So we might be able to do this here. Hold on. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Well, that's bad. Ooh, that's close. That's bad. Okay, that's really bad. Wait, I think I think this will be okay. Yeah, I think this will be okay. <laughs> Keep me alive. Okay, dude. Sure, if you say so. Okay, this should do enough damage. There, that's seven damage. That should tip the scales back in our favor. Yeah. The seven damage is a lot. The seven damage really helps. Rabbit health. Sick. Love it. Fucking sick. All right. That did it. That fucking did it. Grizzly, cockroach, or another pronghorn. Honestly... A grizzly would be really good here. We could play that right away. We're taking a grizzly. Okay, we can get more items. Yeah, we need to get more items. Is it worth try is it worth risking an elite fight with this fucking deck? Knife for sure. Scissor for sure. We're going to do the giveaway for an inscription thing uh, shortly. Hmm. Kaminsky's good, actually. Wait, what? No, what? What happened? Is, is shit really... The website's really having problems, isn't it? You can watch on YouTube. Buffett's power. Honestly, this would be a good one, but this one's even better. So we just got to buff Grim Dango again. We got to buff Grim Dango again. All right, let's see if we can win. Let's see if we can win with buff Grim Dango. We have too many pelts in our deck, which is horrible. The pelts might kill us. You took in the familiar sights and scents of the trapper's pelts, but something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. So we got a geck. Um, so a greater smoke can be used. I guess we'll put the Gek here. Are the knives a new thing? No, he had that last time when we fought him. So, um, 
Yeah, robot frogs suck. Just kind of sucks to deal with, honestly. So the Gek's gonna die. That thing's gonna live. Oh my god, the pelts. The fucking pelts. At least the pelts can take damage from these. At least the pelts can take damage. For real? Yep. Okay. Thanks, dude. You could waste pelts for bones. Yeah, we can. Okay. Fuck. Whatever. We're just gonna have to take a little bit of damage here. There we go. We got enough bones to summon stuff this turn. My fucking pelt. Alright, we're gonna have to, have to fill this whole fucking fucking area with pelts. There's the pronghorn. That's what we needed. We needed the fucking pronghorn. So... We want to block that one. Then, we need... We're gonna play the alpha with the bones. Oh, wait, that can buff them. Ooh. Be good to use the scissors here. We should use the scissors on this guy, I think. Or yeah. No, because he'll turn into a trap. Wait, yes, that's fine. So we can use a pelt. Yes. So this should buy us time. Yeah, we can put the stoat out now. This is gonna be sick. We cleared the way for the stoat. And this will kill that and this, and then we'll have a clear we'll have a clear path. Yes. And then we can use the pronghorn in part two. Yeah, attack pelt. Exactly. We got a fucking attack pelt. It's sick. I think oh the, the alpha's gonna die though, which that really sucks. Or wait, you no, know, we might be able to win. This game feels so pleasing. Oh, it's super great. It's beautiful. The whole game is like a fucking beautiful experience. It's amazing. Fuck. Oh, we got the grizzly. Well, the grizzly's gonna win it for us, so. There we go. That'll do it. Thanks, grizzly. Now we gotta go to the second one. Pelts are going ham. Yeah, we're actually using attack pelts, which is kind of wild. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Wait, what? Wait, what? Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. Okay. This is a busted card, so we're going to take that one. So we're getting some broken cards. That's sick. Okay. Hold on. We need we need to be able to kill in a single turn, basically. Flying defense, Grizzly. This would be good, because it can block a lot. We get three. We get three choices. These are all fine. We can do all of these. I would have chosen differently. Okay, well, shut the fuck up. I don't care what you want. Okay, so wait, we gotta do this. We gotta be really wise with this. Okay. So, oh wow, this is fucking terrifying. Okay. Give me a second here. We want the, gr the grizzly with the double attack. That's the one we want right here. Now this grizzly will kill this one and this one. This is gonna do damage, but it'll stay alive. No wait, this is gonna die first, so we're gonna get four damage out. This is perfect. Basically perfect. Oh no! Hold on, I'll check it, I'll check it. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll check it, I'll check it. No way, I'll check it, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm gonna check it. So now we need a, we need a squirrel. Yeah, the trading boss mechanic. This, this game is fucking wild, okay? I'm telling you, this game is fucking hog wild. And you, you, I, I'm not kidding you. This is, we're, we, you got, there's so much more. We're not even gonna get to it tonight. This is why I gotta do a whole playthrough. Cause this game is fucking beautiful. Anyway, let's kill. We win. 
Look at that shit. We just shredded. Look at all those teeth! We have so many teeth! What the fuck is going on? Let me relight your candles. Perhaps one of these will entice you. We didn't get to see the we didn't get to see the uh, the grown up Grime Dango. The holy mantis god, a perfect incarnation of terror. We have to take the mantis god. We have to take yeah, the mantis always god. Always pick mantis god. <laughs> always pick mantis god. He's <laughs> this game's so fucking stupid. This game's absurd. <laughs> You don't want to know. You don't want to know what I won my original game with. I won my original game with a doubled mantis god, and I sewed two mantis gods together, and then I sacrificed damage into them. So it was a three damage, a double double sewn together mass. Uh, sorry, a four damage sewn together mantis god that would hit three times. It was busted. It was completely stupid. The mystery of the trapper and the traitor occupied your thoughts as you wandered onwards. A light in the distance caught your eye. We might get to wait. We might wait a second. If we win here, we might get to see the uh, the next chapter. <gasps> wait, we get to trade in. The trader's post was left abandoned. A sign of respect for the strange woman. You took only what you could afford. We're getting rid of the pelts. We're fucking getting rid of the pelts. Oh my god, we're getting rid of the pelts. Oh my... Oh. I'm gonna lose it. We're gonna make it. This is so good. Definitely taking an opossum. So we have to buy cards. We have to put cards in. Okay, we're gonna take a great white. We can take a turkey... Well, turkey vulture might be a dead card. I'd rather not have a dead card. We we just killed her. She didn't dip. We killed her. We killed her. We just we just killed her. What do you mean she didn't dip? We just murdered her. She's the second phase of that fight. We fucking killed her. Anyway, wolf is a good one. And we can take a wolf cub. All right, let's see. So now we get We get two golden ones. Yeah, you'll have to find out. You'll have to find out, won't you? Then we gotta pick what we want here. A 14-14? Okay, we're taking the 14-14 for sure. And we are absolutely taking... Should we take the strange larva? Larva is looking cool. We should probably take the larva too. The douse is really good too. The douse is actually busted, but oh, you want some? Yeah. Sure. The Ouroboros, I don't think is very good, but he's a very angry weasel. Oh, man, chat's going down too. I like the douse. Let's take the douse. The douse is really cool. He has a really cool effect. Oh, I think because you had sewn together the golden pelts, you have all sewn together cards. You're right. They were all sewn together cards. Oh, hey, no problem. White Nervo says no problem. You're amazing. It's all good. It's all good. Thank you. Oh yeah, you're right. I gotta go check out. Let's go. Let's go look around. We're not. This is not gonna happen. We're not gonna get that this time. Oh yeah, slime boy. We totally forgot about slime boy. Yay! Yay! White white nervosa pog. Yeah, the white nervosa. White hypers.
Look, it's Slime Boy. The pain is unbearable. Even after all those years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Ah, I watched that dagger do its work. For a moment I felt my misery had company. Oh, but it had its own noble purpose. Surely a step towards freeing the master. Ah, watching the angler lose. Now that soothes my pain. An old rival of man, that fisherman. He busted me this time, but I will have another chance. I witnessed the final defeat of Leshy over there. We got his name. We got his name. We got his fucking name. Leshy. I witnessed the final defeat of Leshy over there. Quite a spectacle. Though I had no hope that it would bring me freedom. For that to happen, I think you would need something special up your sleeve. I told you all you were going to love this game. Hey, look, free teeth. What happens if you write his name on a death card? That's a good question. I wonder what would happen if that happened. I've never tried that. I was right? Yeah, it's fucking good. It's free teeth. Okay, are we ready? You Are we ready? We're gonna try the boss again. warm light of the cabin cut through the thick fog. Surely your tribulations ended here. I don't know. I think we can do it without the pelts in there. We have a 14-14. Great boons of Leshy's woods were on offer. The trial of the Find. Draw three three drawn cards must include a card with the waterborne sigil. The trial of skins, the three drawn cards must include a pelt card. Well, we don't have any pelt now. The trial of the winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. Fuck, I don't even know. Yeah, now it just says Leshy, now that we know his name. Yep. Wing? We do have... Wait. We have a couple of sharks. And we do have a couple of winged cards. I think it would actually be safer for us to do winged. Huh. Huh. It doesn't. It doesn't let you see your own cards here. Yeah, I think we need wing. Do we have more sharks? I don't think we do. I thought we only got one shark or two. Let's do wing. Let's do wing. Let the trial of the wing begin. Yes! Grime Dango again! Grime Dango. Again. With the fucking save. The fucking save of saves. Literally the best. The boon of the ambidextrous. We need the one of the magpie. The boon of the forest. You'll start a battle with grand furs. That's not helpful. 
the boon of the goat's blood. You'll start a battle with a black goat on the board. Now that is good. This is actually good. We could use this, put out a squirrel to get Ur Ur Yuli out on one turn. Ambi is really good in this case, especially if we get the double draw. 14, 14, turn one, insta win. Yeah, we should do this. Honestly, we should do this. Yeah. No, I, I don't think the two cards is, is as important. The trial of rarity. The trial of the swift. Trial of the ring. Hey, we have the ring. We have the ring. We got the ring. Let the trial of the ring begin. Oh, you are wearing a fine ring. You pass, of course. The most powerful boons. Boon of the ambidextrous. Boon of the magpie's eye. Boon of the force. We have to go magpie's eye. We win. We are going to get a turn one win. We will get a turn one instant victory with a, with a giant Uriuli. We're getting to chapter two. Two boons. Impressive. Wait, what the, wait, wait, what the fuck? There's a problem. We're literally gonna get, we're, we still haven't gotten the stuff to go to s section two of the game yet. Yeah, what if he red eyes on this battle? You're back. Sit. Well, looks like I'll have to beat him again. Oh, how I relish this moment. Listen, there's that music. Two flames will not suffice this time. We got a black goat to start with. And we got Grime Dango. I gotta do some secrets, but I did them. I did what I could. We haven't gotten the eyeball yet. Wait, so we can play Grime Dango immediately. Ooh, wait, that was not the right move. Wait, oh yeah, it'll be fine, okay. So now we can get... We have the most busted deck ever. Hey, Mi Miahua, with the tier three sub, thank you so much, welcome. So happy to have you. Thank you so much for subscribing. It means the world, thank you. So very generous of you. Second round. Yeah, I don't know why the magic eye. Hi, trans replicate. The moon soaked forest bed gave rise to shadowy figures, gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Ah, yes. I remember that one. Where's the Uriuli? Uriuli. Here we go, we win in one turn. Hold on, wait, we can win in one turn, hold on. Great White, you're our least important. Goodbye, Pronghorn, I'm very sorry. Moon time, I think we're gonna insta-kill the moon. <laughs> This ought to work again. Oh yes, it still works just fine. That music. That music. Oh, it's so good. Mantis God. We're getting the Mantis God out, everybody.
first to triumph over the moon. But go on. Finish it. I'm gonna hit him with two Uriulis. Did we... How the fuck did I... <sighs> you know, tonight's been an interesting night. Playing this game. You had won the respect of the strange captain's inhabitant. Your body quaked as the adrenaline of the battle subsided. Leaving you with a gnawing hunger. You had not eaten for days. Is it not so? Surely this food will please you. I took extra care in preparing it. Really? This does not meet your standards? Very well. Stand there. And no, it does not function without a loaded film roll. It cracked! You are a champion, and I wish to memorialize you. Here we go. Ready? There you go. Only fair. There's a hint? Oh, we should have put his name. That's right. Ah, shit. That's all right. Maybe if we won again. That's right. I should have put his name. It's okay. It's all good. Grime Dango, your soul is trapped now. Another challenger approaches. Your predecessor defied the odds and defeated me. It's unlikely to happen again. Your starting deck. Whoa, hey, Stoat's looking really weird now. You good, buddy? I loved it when the supporting characters explained why Demon Mama filled her deck with pelts. Listen, okay? Look at that. We got Grime Dango and Demon Mama. Hey, you had both your eyes. That's good. Okay, so then, hold on a second. Fuck. We have to go through again, don't we? We don't have the film. We don't have the film yet. We're missing the film roll. It's, um... I think the film roll is um wait there's mushrooms here now wait i didn't get those last time either it, it might be it might be in here i think it might be in here you haven't done the picture frame in a run yet. Yeah, I haven't done the picture frame. You're wondering about that painting. I've seen stuff come out of it. But only if the cards are aligned just right. So we have to set the cards up like that. Okay. Okay. Please click the mushrooms more. You want me to click those mushrooms more? You need to find the number. X, 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 X. For this. I never got the third. Yeah, I never got the third talking card. Yeah, where the hell is he? Wait, I think. Uh, is the card maybe in here? And also. Yeah, we haven't found. Well, okay, I know how to solve this. But, but we don't have the pieces yet. Oh, there's more. Wait, look, there's shrooms over here too. 
What the hell? There's like shrooms everywhere now. Okay. Okay. The third card, yeah, I think the third card is needed, which means we need to run through again. Yeah, I gotta stop now. Okay, listen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save the game right here. We'll return. Wait, what? What is this? I got four, what is this for? What the fuck? How do I have that here? Wow, I must've done something cool.